Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to create detached drawings and how to use them. Let's begin by creating a drawing document. OK. I'm going to drag in the top view and a side view. OK. Zoom in a bit and let's apply dimensions. Over here now as well, last one. Let's click OK to accept our work. After we finished our drawing, we're going to save it as a detached drawing this time. So you might be wondering what a detached drawing means. This means that your drawing is detached from your model. In other words, you're able to load the drawing without loading the model. You may be wondering why you would need such an option. Well, for example, if your model is really large, this might be helpful. You might also need a detached drawing if, for example, you want to send drawings to your customers or colleagues without sending the actual model. Let's go to Save As. Under Save As Type, I'm going to select Detached Drawing. Notice that a detached drawing and a drawing document have the same file extension. Let's change the name so it's more clear, dash D for detached, and click Save. Let's take a look at the icon for our drawing. The broken chain here means it's a detached drawing. Let's close our drawing. And I'm going to close the model as well. Let's reopen it. Open the drawing. Notice here we have the option to load the model if we want to. We can just check this box. Let's leave it unchecked and click Open. Now to load the model, just right-click on the drawing in the tree and select Load Model. SolidWorks lets us know that this might be a lengthy operation. We're prompted to continue. Let's click Yes. 